So how to train your custom object detection model on your own custom image data set using YOLO v4. For example, you may have a burger, pizza and Pani Puri related image data set and you want to build a model that detect these food items in the image so that you would be able to know what a specific customer likes from his Instagram image. And what's amazing is that we will train the model free of cost on GPU machine. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, we will see the detailed steps to train the object detection model on the coffee and tea data set that we downloaded earlier from open image data set tool. So watch this video till the end. This video might be a little long, but believe me, if you watch this video till the end, you will learn very new concepts and tricks that will help you for a long time in your machine learning journey. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel. A lot of times I see people appreciating the content but forgetting to subscribe due to immense excitement. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. If you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. You can download the code related Jupyter notebooks and other related material by, by enrolling to this course on the AI University website. If you like to go through these courses on mobile, then consider downloading the AI University Android app. All the courses are offered for free on our website. So we are going to use GPU hardware accelerator so that deep learning model can get trained in a faster manner. One of the other reason of using Google Colab is that lot of dependencies gets fulfilled automatically when we try to train our model here. As I explained earlier, YOLO uses convolutional neural network to train these models so we need a GPU machines for that purpose. If you are jumping directly on this video, then consider going through the previous videos in order to understand what is YOLO v4 and how can we download custom and annotated data sets free of cost as well as how can we annotate the images by ourselves if in case we have our own image data set. So without further delay, let's move to the Google Colab Jupyter Notebook. Oh yes, before that, first let me tell you about few changes that I did with respect to the location of images and other training and test files. If you have watched my previous videos, then you might be aware that I kept all of my images, training, test files, uh, image data, classes.names files at this location. Now here is the problem I faced. Uh, this folder name, uh, my drive, was causing a lot of issues since it has a space in between. So there is a space between my and drive. I tried to keep a backslash as a escape character but then also did, it didn't help. We actually learn a lot of things when we you know encounter uh, such problems. So I then thought of using a symbolic link which is also termed as soft link. So it is uh, much like a shortcut in Windows. So what I basically did was I created the soft link for slash content slash drive slash my drive as curd drive. So by doing this my path slash content slash drive slash my drive became equals to slash curd drive. Let me tell you uh, in a step by step manner what exactly I did. So as you can see on the screen I have created a utility notebook to move my files from this location to darknet's data folder location which in my case is this. So if you see this utility notebook I am first mounting my google drive then I am importing necessary libraries such as os and shutils library. shutils library is being used to move a file folder from one location to another. In the next line, I'm creating a symbolic link for slash content slash drive slash my drive and I'm naming it as slash cur drive or curr drive. ln command is used to build any uh, links or aliases to other files in Unix. Please note that we can uh, run any Unix command in Google Colab by prefixing it with exclamatory mark. By doing this, the path slash content slash drive slash my drive became equal to slash cur drive. Then in the next line, I used shutils move function to move the entire coffee tea folder from this location to darknet's data folder. The reason I'm doing this is that while training my custom object detection model, I will have all the necessary config, weights and data files inside darknet folder only. 
so it will become easier to train our model when uh, if in case my uh, all of my files in one particular folder or location so let me show you how uh, this move command works so you could see that i have this uh, folder named coffee tea inside the train folder so you can see the path here right now as soon as i run this command this folder from train subfolder will move to darknet's data folder so let me run this command on utility and now let me refresh my google drive location so you could see that when i ran uh, that cell the coffee tea folder was moved to uh, darknet's data folder let me show you the darknet's data folder as well so you could see that coffee tea folder is moved to darknet's data folder now next i made some changes in the already created notebook which was uh, create necessary files for training notebook and i covered this notebook in the previous video so you can check that out uh, so i used it to create the training test and class dot names as well as image data dot data files inside the coffee tea folder which will be used to train our uh, object detection model you could see uh, those previous videos if you want to get the understanding of the code associated with this jupyter notebook file so here the first change i did was including this line where i have created the symbolic link for slash content slash drive slash my drive second change i did was changing the image path as slash cur drive slash youtube project slash yolo v4 slash darknet slash data slash coffee tea which is the location where we have moved our image data and then changing the directory using this chdir function so that this directory will be referenced for all the operations now then i rerun all the subsequent cells so i ran this cell followed by this cell and then this cell as well uh, so here we are creating the train.txt and test.txt files right so after that i reran re this cell where we are creating the classes.names file and then i reran this cell again where we are creating the image data dot data file so again you can uh, watch the previous videos to see the content of these each individual files what exactly these are so this image data dot data is nothing but it contains the qualified path for train.txt uh, test.txt classes.names as well as the backup folder but you, if you want to get more details then you can watch the previous videos this backup folder uh, uh, houses the weight information when we train our model so finally now let's see how to uh, train custom object detection model on our coffee and tea data set so here also at the top i uh, first created the symbolic link right and you can see the command here right so this particular code down below is associated with performing object detection on yolo v4 pre-trained model that i already covered on previous videos so let me jump straight to the code associated with custom object detection model so in order to train the object detection model using yolo v4 framework on our own custom data set we are first downloading the pre-trained weights for convolutional layers the trained weights are being used as transfer learning here this is being done here uh, to decrease the training time on our own uh, data set since we are using already trained weights these weights are downloaded to the location slash content slash drive slash my drive and uh, in my youtube projects folders yolo v4 darknet folder so let me show you so you can see that yolo v4 dot con dot 137 pre-trained weights files in the darknet folder in the next cell we are first changing the directory path to darknet folder where we have kept all the training test and other files in data subfolder check out here how we are using the symbolic link right now if you remember we created this image data dot data file in the previous video and a while ago as well right so this file contains information such as number of classes, location of train.txt, location of test.txt, location of classes.names file, uh, as well as backup folder info. We stored this file at the darknet's uh, data subfolder and then inside that coffee tea 
subfolder location which is this coffee tea subfolder location and this folder we uh, moved uh, very recently right so you saw a while ago we moved this folder here at this darknet uh, folder right darknet's data subfolder so you could see this image data dot data file here so next we are giving the execute permission to darknet folder because when you are going to execute the command to train the custom object detection model then chances are that you may get permission denied error on this darknet folder command sudo uh, chmod plus x darknet gives the execute permission on this folder to solve this problem okay in the next cell we are trying to train our custom object detection model you can see uh, one command here right so portion of this command may look familiar to you if in case you have gone through previous videos here first we need to mention uh, exclamation dot slash darknet followed by detector and train then we need to mention the location of data file which is image underscore data dot data and which resides in data slash coffee tea folder hence we have prefixed uh, data slash coffee tea before our data file then we have location of configuration file which is cfg slash yolo underscore train dot cfg we created this file in this particular video so if you are jumping directly here then you can watch this video as well next we have trained uh, weights uh, which is uh, yolo v4 dot com dot 137 argument hyphen don't show is used to switch off the window during training we have already created data file configuration files in the previous videos so when i ran the cell the model training got started and it took roughly four to five hours to train the model this model training got stopped abruptly after two hours hence i used a command mentioned in the next cell in order to start the training from the point it got stopped after two hours i will explain that command in a while but let me tell you one thing here if you remember we created a image data dot data file where we mentioned folder path to save trained model weights the name we uh, gave to that folder was backup so this is the folder which got created inside this darknet folder and with the name backup and this is the folder where all the interim uh, trained weights get stored so when I ran the training process, these are the weights that got created. So if you see, we have interim model weights created after each thousand iterations. That's why we have model weights uh, name as YOLO v4 uh, train thousand dot weights, YOLO v4 train two thousand dot weights, as well as YOLO v4 train three thousand dot weights, etc. Each of these weights got created after each thousand iterations. Now, if your model training gets interrupted, let's say after 2000 iterations and let's assume you don't uh, have this file uh, YOLO v4 train 3000 dot weights created at all during that time. Now, there is another weight file named as YOLO v4 train last dot weights. We will use this weight to start the training from our last saved weights file so that we don't have to restart the process once again. So in the next cell, uh, the code till this point is familiar to you after cfg slash yolo v4 uh, underscore train dot cfg we have defined the path of the last saved weight which is in this backup folder right so this is the location in my case right and you can see that the tar inside darknet folder we have backup folder where we have this yolo v4 train last dot weights file and then after that we defined hyphen don't show when I ran the cell, the training got started from YOLO v4 train 2000 dot weights onwards. And after some time, it created another YOLO v4 train 3000 dot weights file. This model is trained now. Now there is a next step to perform object detection on an unseen image. So I wanted to do object detection on this particular image, which our model has never seen. It has an image of T right as you can see there is a tea bag inside the cup and this is a image of tea or cup of a tea so let's see if our image performed the right object detection or not so uh, as you can see here on in the next cell i am uh, executing the command to perform object detection on an unseen image first i am defining few important libraries 
then I'm running the custom object detector. So here we have a dot slash darknet followed by detector followed by test followed by location of image data dot data followed by location of config file followed by location of trained weights followed by location of folder where I have kept my unseen image followed by threshold value as 0.3 right so this is the folder location so inside darknet uh, data subfolder I created another subfolder with the name test underscore data and inside that I kept this particular image okay so that's why I have, uh, I'm providing the fully qualified path of this image so when I ran this cell you could see that it has detected the image successfully as T here and with 95% probability. You can also use this custom object detection model to detect objects in the video. You can watch this video to see command to perform object detection on videos. Just replace the pre-trained weights with the weights of our custom object detection model. So folks this is it for this video. In the next upcoming videos I will come up with new projects related to machine learning or deep learning. So here is today's question. Did you like this series and wants to see such informative series in future? Please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.